Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Web Dots. Today I am going to show you how to deploy a static web app and this session is for beginners only. So let's move ahead without wasting time. So I will pick the very easiest way so that you can easily understand how you can create and how you can deploy. And this is the typical structure that contains okay the Visual Studio code changes that we performed in our last session and it is also connected with my Azure DevOps. This is what I choose for this whole SWA series. And along with that, we have already created our static content and API. And I strongly suggest you to watch the previous session so that you can easily understand at what point we are in this session. So I will demonstrate how to create and deploy the SWA service through Azure portal. And we will also see the live website that we can access and we will also go through some important configurations and custom domains and API that we can easily add. I mean those settings overview and we will also uh, see the overview of ADO pipeline that will be automatically created while we will be deploying this. That's a, again another beauty of this static web app. And we will also see what will be the expected environment setup that you can do. So let's go to Visual Studio Code and this is our solution that we have seen in our previous session. So this is our API that we have created and this is our in the HTML content. So let me show you where we left. So just to start this, we will type SWA start, right? And hit enter. So now we will be able to see the URL where our application and API will be listening. So animator is ready and here we can see the URL. And if I click over here, so we can see my application is working and if I click here, so your API is also working. This HTTP trigger function as API executed successfully. So we will see this all HTML content and the HTTP call live. Okay. Let me stop this. This is our organization, right? That we have already seen. And if I click over here, so we have one project, which is tech web. And under that we have only one repo right and under this repo we have this api and this index.html and at this point of time we don't have any pipeline we don't have any release we have only repo which is ready and that we can use in azure static web app and this is our azure portal from where we will create our first static web app so if i click on create a resource and just type here static web app Okay, so now I can see this static web of services available, right? And here we have only one option. Let's select here a static web app. Now we have all the options which are required to create this static web app. And under this app, we will host our content, right? So I have selected my subscription, which is by default, that is fine. And I will create my one existing resource group, which is RG, okay? And I have to provide the name. So let's uh, give it a name uh, static web app demo. Okay, so it is also available. So we have to choose a plan which is free because we are not performing any expensive operation or production stuff. And here we need to select the closest region which is very much near to us. And here in the deployment details, we can see there are three options GitHub, Azure DevOps and other. So in this session, we are talking about Azure DevOps. So I will select here. I have already logged in on my DevOps account and Azure account, right? So I will not face any problem. I can see all the organizations created. So I will select the tab app ORG that we have seen and the project, which is our tab web and the repo, which is also tech web. And we have to select the branch, which is master. Okay. Now next we have to select which framework you are using in your static web app. As of now, we are only using simple HTML and a API. So in that case, you can also select HTML. So I will go with the HTML one. Now, after HTML, it is asking, okay, your application will be available at root. If there are multiple folders in your application, so you can provide the path. If your root, uh, you know, the first page or the starting application is covered under some folders. And here we need to provide the API location. In our case, it is API. And the output location, we are also providing the 
root right so everything is ready here we can just click on review and create if there is any issue with this current configuration so we can see create option is available here and if I click on create okay now it is giving me error fail to create a personal access token for this user please deploy your app using other deployment instead of Azure DevOps I solved that problem how because my organization was not connected to Azure Active Directory. So this is the basic uh, link that will give you all the answers to all the questions that you must be having. And if you are facing any problem, then you can definitely go through. There are some prerequisites like you must be a member of project election administrator and organization owner role in uh, Azure DevOps and you must be a member in Azure Active Directory. Okay, now if you are still facing connectivity issue how you can connect your azure devops organization to azure active directory so i have created one small video related to that how you can connect your organization to azure active directory so you can have a look the link is given in the description of this video so now if i click on create here okay so now it is validating every changes and now you can see it is initializing my deployment right and once my deployment will be ready it will allow us to view our website and we can see what all are the available option that we'll get with azure static web app right so you can see in couple of seconds our application is ready and if we go to resources here so we can see now like this is the beauty right so how fast it deployed my resources and if I want to access that like previously we access this correct and if I access this from here you can just click on this URL if I click here so you can see our site is live now and if I click on load content from API right so now it is showing exactly same message that it was showing previously on our local environment that we developed locally so this http triggered successfully as an api executed right so this area is completed we can see how it is connected with azure devops right but you can also see we can directly go to our azure devops pipeline from here if we see here deployment history if i click over here right so we can see right the new pipeline trigger is created and if i go through you we are under pipeline right so this pipeline is created it is the html one and let me show you so this is recently completed and if you want to see how that magic happened it means how our application deployed successfully with the content then you can click over here what is what i am checking here this is our yaml configuration which is actually doing the work of continuous integration and continuous deployment if you will see in this yaml file you will see we are checking master branch if there's any changes then, then trigger will happen and what actually it is doing it is just checking if there's any content changed right and it is looking for the api location this is exactly same that we provided in our static web app configuration this yaml pipeline is strongly coupled with our azure static web app and how my azure app easily able to identify which branch it needs to pick so you can see we are using groups here so this yaml configuration file runs and it recently completed the pipeline we can also check the pipeline history as well so now our site is live now what is other important parts so in this static web app right you can provide all the configurations here so these configuration will act like an environment variable so if you are coming from dotnet background then you know what are the environment variable those are globally accessible across application so you can access that as well in the api right we can also connect with app insight as well we can also connect our custom domain mapping also right and the api which is available with this static web app that will be available under api section so it is taking more than expected time okay okay that was just got loaded but i clicked here on api okay so it will display our api which is connected with this azure 
static web app right we can also connect to database if we have any available but for database we have to create first right so we can see the managed function app api is created here right that we can access and uh, here we can have create the environment if you want to use pre -port, so that is also possible so if i click on identity but for that we have to upgrade to the higher standard right only then we will be able to access so here under custom domain you just need to provide the mapping simply here you can easily map your custom domain by you know just making the entries either on your you know a dns settings you can specify their c name entry and other entries and then it is very easy to configure you will easily get the configuration link so i will also include that in the description of this video if your content is not available after waiting certain minutes then i strongly recommend you you come to your devops and you click on pipeline and click here on pipeline then you will see either the stage is red or it is green and if it is red then probably you are facing the expected error and that is you have to register your account and you have to request for parallel jobs and without that your pipeline will not work and for that what you need to do you just go to this url and you have to give all the authentic details like your name your email address and uh, your organization name and either using for public and private and submit it and after maybe within one day and it is because it is a very super fast service that what i i see uh, personally so your the parallel uh, running request will be completed and then if you will try to execute same again i mean how you can do that you can just simply run that pipeline again and your content will be successfully hosted because for all this processing we need some server side processing and as i discussed earlier in my previous videos like in azure pricing there are parallel jobs on certain amount of time uh, those are completely free let's go back to the presentation we have already seen the website and i go through okay you can do so many configuration with the static web app even you can define route as well custom domain and api definitely we can check that an api pipeline overview have provided and some environment setup that you need to do and, and the most important one if your pipeline is not running and it is not giving the expected then might be no hosted parallelism has been purchased or granted so to request this this is the actual url i will add in the description of this video as well so i hope you like the video if you have any question any suggestion you can leave into the comment box and i will see you in the next video where we will discuss how we can create this azure static web app with the help of azure resource manager bye bye